Welcome to another PyQGIS tutorial. Today uh, I'm going to focus on a request I got a couple weeks ago, and that was how to save selected features as a new shape file. And so stay tuned for that. So we're working with this same stream shape file stream data set we've used in other videos. Um, and I have it symbolized by stream order here. If I open that sweet table, I'll show you what which column we're uh, symbolizing by. It's this grid code column here that ranges from one to four. And so in this tutorial, what we're gonna do, is we're gonna select um, only the fourth order streams, which is this line here, this is the dark blue, and we'll save that as a new shape file. So let's go ahead and get started. I've tested this out already, so hopefully it goes smoothly, and I'm just gonna clear my console here, um, and we'll start out. So the first thing you wanna do is we wanna select this layer. We wanna get that layer by itself. So I'm going to do layers equals QGS uh, map. Hold on. I think it's map instance. Give me just a sec. QGS project dot instance. There it is. Dot map layers by name. And then we're going to give the layer name, which is stream order. All right. And now this will give us a, a list of all the layers with that name. And to get a single layer, we're going to do layer equals layers zero, which will be the first layer uh, in that list. We should only have one, but we still have to get it uh, by itself to do this correctly. And if you're wondering about the information for all this stuff, I covered that in previous tutorials. Um, so I'm glossing over it here, but go back and watch those. Uh, they get the full rundown on it. So now I'm going to do layer select by expression. And the expression we want to give is grid underscore code is equal to four. And this needs to go over here. So this is going to be in SQL syntax. And once again, uh, I covered this in a previous video. Uh, I'm just going to double check this to make sure I have it correct before we move on. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to swap the, the quotations here and put the double quotes in the middle and the single quotes on the outside. Okay. So now we should have those features selected. So the next thing we want to do is we're just going to uh, write a new shape file. First, let's give it a file name. I'm going to save this on my C drive, output, and this is going to be um, to select gc4.shape. And now we're going to use a vector file writer to write this new file, and we're going to give it an input layer um, and, and save only the selected features. And so this is going to be a QGS vector file writer. Write, oh, let's see, vector. I got to double check that. I think it's vector file writer. Sorry, it's right as vector format. And then we're going to give it the layer name, the file name, the encoding, which we're going to use UTF-8 here. OK, and then I'm going to start a new line with the backslash enter. Um, and we want to go only selected features equals true and I'm just going to double check and make sure I haven't missed anything here and I did miss an important thing we need the driver so driver name uh, we're going to do this as an Esri shapefile and I think we want this to be only selected okay so that will write our file and now what we want to do 
is we want to add this uh, to our map. I'm just going to break this out here so that it's more clear. Uh, we'll put all this together. Yes, we got these sections. So now we just want to go ahead and add this to our map, and so we can see it. And the way we do that is with iFace add vector layer. We want to give it the file name, um, the layer name. We can just leave blank, and the driver is OGR. And then we come down and we can delete the writer. Now that we're done with it. All right. And so let's give this a run. Uh, like I said, what we should see is we should see a new shape file get added over here. And when it gets added, it should cover up this uh, blue line. All right. So let's go ahead and click run. There's my file. Select GC4. Move this out of the way. Oh, and it is not showing up. Let's just turn that off. Turn that on. And, oh, you know what? I made a problem with my SQL query. Let me remove this. Uh, with SQL, this should just be one equal sign, uh, not two, as you usually do in Python. So let's go ahead and click Run, see if that works again. Okay, there we go. So now you can see that I have this color overlapping my fourth stream order. Turn it off. That's now selected. That's why it's yellow. It's now selected. So if I clear the selection, it's no longer yellow. I can turn that on over the top. If we go in and change the symbology just to uh, for sure convince you this is what it's supposed to be. So let's go change this symbology. We'll bump that up so it's fat. And we'll change this to red. And click OK. And there you go. You can see that we've successfully added those features. And then we can open the attribute table up here just to convince you yet again. And our grid code uh, only has fours in it. So that is how you can use PyQGIS to save selected features to a new shapefile. Um, and once again, as always, if you have questions, uh, or things you want to see, please leave a comment. Uh, I try to get to them, but you know I do this on the side, so I am busy with my my full time work. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, and and if you have questions and suggestions, let me know. I'm always happy to hear from you guys. Thanks again for watching.